Those who have been here before, you know that I like to take 10 golden nuggets as I picked them. There were so many, my hand was getting tired back there. I wanted to write a lot more, but let me just share 10, and I actually gave you an extra one because there were just so many. Number one, create a chain reaction of love and compassion. Compassion is the greatest form of love humans have to offer. Number two, look into people's souls and not just at their appearance. Get to truly know them. Number three, be, uh, some of these came from you, some from your friends, some from your daughter, but these are all the ones I got. Number three, be a see-thrower, not a look at her, and life will have more purpose and meaning. Number four, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see, Thoreau. They're all kind of in the same vein there, but I just really love them. I'm a big Thoreau fan as well. Number five, people see what they are looking for. Try first to look for the best in others. All of us need to do more of that. Number six, don't let your character change color with your environment. Find who you are and let it stay its true color. Rachel Scott. Seven, we are not human havings, we are human beings. Don't define or live your life by what you have or don't have. Number eight, focus on relatedness. I really like that one a lot. And more understanding and connectedness, if I can put that word out, will occur. And I'd like each of you to hold your hand in front of you right now and look at it. These hands belong to, put whatever you want in there, and will someday touch blank number of people. What is that for you? My parents told me when I was young, Brian, you'll be a blessed man if you could impact one life for the better. And if the Lord gives you an opportunity to impact a few hundred, a few thousand, a few million, so be it. But always focus on the one. And so everything that we do focuses on the one. If you impact just one life for the better, that's a life well lived. And you don't know that rip ripple effect and that chain reaction. And number 10, don't be labeled as average. None of us are average in this room. You are a human being that has just amazing talents and things to offer. You're not average. And number 11, which is kind of along with the first one, and I was thinking about that picture in the room with all of those uh, paper chains hanging down. And I was wondering, each of us needs to remember that and that impact. Start a chain reaction of love, kindness, and compassion, and just see where the ripples will go.